All over the UK, our researchers are working tirelessly to beat cancer. In these difficult times, like everyone else, we've had to adapt the way we work. So we want to show you how our scientists have responded to the crisis and how we continue to support people affected by cancer through our life-saving research. My name is Noor. I'm based at the University of Edinburgh. I'm Eva Blanco and I work on prostate cancer at King's College London and Barts Cancer Institute. My name is Awen Gallimo and I make Professor of Cancer Immunology at Cardiff University. My name is Richard Murray and it is my privilege to be the Director of the Cancer Research UK Manchester Institute. I'm Ruth Boyd, I'm the Cancer Research UK Senior Research Nurse in Northern Ireland. I'm Sigourney, I'm a first year PhD student here at the Cancer Research UK Cambridge Institute. So since lockdown I've been at home analysing data and writing my first year report. Um, but I've actually managed to have the opportunity to come back into the lab today to run a critical experiment. So I've been here for the last couple of days. I'm currently analysing and writing up the results of my last three years of research. Uh, this summary will then be used to help prepare all the lab work elements of the upcoming clinical trial based on our cancer vaccine. I'm working on taking care of precious patients and pearl, which help us to understand the role of the normal cells surrounding the cancer cells. I've been coming into the laboratories to warm up the equipment, to validate the systems, to make sure they're ready for when we're ready to actually come and do some work in the laboratories again. Whilst I've been doing this, I've been using our 3D printers, which we use for making instrumentation, to make 3D face shields for the NHS and also the Christie Hospital. During lockdown, I've taken this opportunity to analyse all my images and conclude some of my experiments. This will give us a better understanding of how cancer cells can be treated in the future. Right now, I'm working with a team caring for the super patients taking part in cancer clinical trials. And we're also restarting recruitment to some of the studies that were put on hold because of the COVID-19 pandemic. For a number of our people, they've been able to sit down and analyse their data. I'm really pleased to say that some of us have even been able to submit papers. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we have compiled and analysed data that we've been collecting over several months. Data which shows that certain combinations of immunotherapies are very successful at treating breast cancer. What we have been doing from home is to analyse our data, um, dig into the literature, but also plan ahead the experiments that we are quite eager to do whenever it is possible to go back to the labs. I do this because children deserve to play and laugh and embrace the bright future ahead of them. Because of the stories of people affected by cancer and their passionate belief in the value of research. We saw there was a real need for PPE and we could repurpose our equipment for something that's really needed in the community right now. It's a thirst for understanding. We need to understand what causes cancer. My motivation has to be my granddad who is currently at home suffering from cancer. The current situation really reminded us how understanding how our bodies work, um, how disease progress is really important um, for developing treatments. Because research can save thousands of lives. The more knowledge we have, the sooner we will beat cancer. Because if I or someone I loved had cancer, I know that I would trade anything to make it go away. Hopefully I can help someone else who feels the same. Thank you so much for your support. We need it now more than ever so we can continue to do our life-saving research no matter the circumstances. COVID-19 may have slowed us down a little bit, but we will never, never stop. And together we will still be.